Ian77, the best player to ever touch the game Clash Royale. The one whose gameplay is just, perfect, top notch, you can never find a mistake in his gameplay ever. My disappointment is immeasurable. You're trash, kid, get good. And my day is ruined. Yo, what's going on, guys? These are the games that got me number one with my favorite Magic Archer deck. Today we're running Minor Wall Breakers with the Magic Archer. I'll go for the Split Wall Wallers first play. This deck is so fun and so high skill, but at the same time so annoying to play against. A lot of people have been saying recently that the skill cap of this deck is pretty overrated. I feel like they're partially right. This deck is pretty easy to play for the most part, just the King Tower activations can be a bit complicated and all of the crazy Magic Archer lineups. Oh man. <laughs> Giant the bridge for no reason. Average giant double prince player. <laughs> I think we should be fine here though. Beautiful magic archer. A log as well. Super clean defense. Our main goal right now is to try to get a king tower activation. I'll go for the split wall wallers again. Try to bait out the Ewis, so then we can try to pull it to our king tower with the tornado. Perfect. It's a pretty simple king tower activation. I'll show you guys right now the perfect placement. No! No, that Ewis has slick boots or something. How the heck did he dodge that? Bro, that's rigged. This man's a hacker. <laughs> Bro, what the heck? <sighs> I kind of want to go with the Magic Archer here on the Dark Prince, but I feel like it would be a bit too aggressive. Okay, good thing I did it. Have to go with the Defensive Monitor here. It's fine. It's not too bad to play a defensive miner. Pretty much as much HP as a knight. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? Instead of you guys subscribing if my opponents or I miss a spell, how about you guys subscribe if you learn something new instead? <laughs> okay. Wait, I think we can get a king tower activation. I'll go for the wall breakers here. Should kite the prince, so then we can pull it to the king tower. Perfect. Okay, we kind of redeemed ourselves now. If you guys didn't know that, feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Just to try to recover from that really bad tornado. The first tornado. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to go with the Magic Archer Valkyrie combo. Really good tip for you guys to quickly double drop your Magic Archer and Valkyrie to get a nice lock on the tower against certain units. Could be a bit interesting here on defense, but we do have the King Tower up, so I'm not like super worried. I'll go for the wall breakers to pull the phoenix a bit. Wall breakers are super nice for kiting stuff on defense, especially when you have the king tower helping. Have to go for another defensive miner. You guys can see that defensive miner is a pretty important part of this deck. And this is so much fun, honestly. I'll go for the high wall breakers, kite this prince around a bit. Have to Valkyrie as well, it's fine. We always have the miner as an extra tank whenever we need it. I'll miner on the tower here just to get to our skellies for this Ewis. We kind of want to get a Magic Archer lock. Okay, you know what guys? I'll just go with the Magic Archer for the Phoenix. Tornado. <laughs> and this is beautiful. You learn more geometry from these Clash Royale videos than from an actual geometry class, man. <laughs> Good game. Easy win. I'm pretty sure this guy's running the lowest skill deck in Clash Royale. Take your wild guess as to what it could be. None other than log bait. Yeah, he has the barrel. I'll go for the king tower activation here. Perfect timing and placement to take no damage. I'll magic archer line up for his princess. So nice to have magic archer against bridge princess. Gives you the free piercing damage. Super well placed mighty miner by him. As you guys are well aware. Log bait players, they love mistiming, misplacing and miss doing every single thing in every single match. The only exception to that is probably log bait players who watch my channel. I'll Valkyrie here, tank for the Ice Spirit as well. Super nice start. I know log bait's a pretty hard matchup for this deck, but I feel like it's a lot more beatable after the rocket nerf. Uh, I'll just go for the miner in the front here, pre-log for his goblins. He has the goblins. Yeah, super good prediction. Log bait players are super predictable as well. <laughs> I'm not even dissing Riley at this point. I'm dissing the whole log bait community, except the few log bait players who watch me. <laughs> okay, let's go for the bomb tower for his princess. 
We have the tornado for the barrel. We have quite a few barrel counters, log tornado, and also Valkyrie can fully counter goblin barrels. <laughs> We're having such a clean defense so far. Super good start. He can't really get too much value out of Princess, since we can always go with our Magic Archer lineup onto it. I'll go for the Wall Breakers on the right side this time. <laughs> Beautiful log by him. Hopefully this Magic Archer gets on the tower. Unfortunately not. It's kind of luck based though. Sometimes the Magic Archer lines on the tower when they play their Goblins. Sometimes it doesn't. Bro, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Man, I feel like this guy is getting so unlucky and just like misplaying. I'll go for the High Log. Kill the Princess. Don't really care about the one Goblin. Super nice cannon by him. Dude, this guy's just having a really bad day today. <laughs> what a guy. We'll see if we can get some damage here with the Magic Archer. I'll Tornado, why not? Nice one piercing shot. <laughs> Dude, this guy just had like 10 things go wrong for him in 5 seconds. <laughs> I'll go for the Miner, then a pre-log once again. Don't really care too much about wasting the log. We can get away with it pretty easily in this matchup. <laughs> nice wall raker. Oh, poor guy. I'll Valkyrie here for the barrel. Should fully counter it. Nice bomb tower hit. <laughs> Let's go. I'll go for the wall breakers here as well. He has to play the cannon, I think. Okay, just the log and cannon. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll just log the princess. Go for the tornado for his barrel. Man, we're doing so well this match. I'll go for minor wall breakers. Skellies for his princess. He can't really kill the skellies. He wasted the log. I'll magic archer for the goblins. Try to get lucky. I'll tornado as well. Maybe get like one shot. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. I'll go for the wall breakers as well. Eh, maybe not the best wall breakers, but it's honestly fine. Still looking super good so far. I'll go for the Valkyrie here, fully counter the barrel. If you play your Valkyrie really quickly, it does fully counter the Goblin Barrel, if you guys didn't know. Looks like he's just giving up at this point. Well, good game. R really easy win. We got a match. I'll go for the Split Wall Wallers. I love Wall Wallers, man. Okay, he has Ewis. Boys, we have to redeem ourselves after the first match. Okay, Tornado? I think we got it. Nice King Tower activation. This guy might have Sparky. Oh, this will be such a hard matchup. I beat the best Minor Wall Breakers player when I was playing Sparky for the first time. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for the Minor Wall Breakers here. Apply some good pressure. Hopefully force out something. Otherwise, we're kind of dead right now. Okay, I'll take the E-Barbs. He'll have no elixir to support his Sparky now. We can just go with the Magic Archer here in the middle, then Skelly's up high. I don't want to log or something. I'm fine to take a bit of damage here. You can't always defend perfectly with this deck. I have to Valkyrie for the Spark. He feels kind of bad, but we don't really have too many other options right now. Good defense, but... This is one of the worst matchups for this deck. I'll play the Miner in the back here. Force out something on the Magic Archer. I don't want to wall breakers right away. Well, I guess the King Tower activation might help out a bit in this matchup. Still going to be so hard to defend though. I'll go for the wall wallers here in the same lane. I feel like if I split them, he's just going to go with his Sparky in the back. He's definitely going to Sparky right now. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bro, I just called it. I just called it. <laughs> right in line with my countdown. Okay, I'll log this Sparky back. Try to get the Magic Archer to do some good damage to it, hopefully. I mean, I'll take the early Goblin Giant. He has to play something for the Wall Wallers. Or not. He's a Sparky player after all, so he has no idea what defense means. I'll log this Heal Spirit. Don't want to take any chances. A Wall Breakers? No! Son of a gun, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
We definitely have to go opposite lane of him right now. We have no big spell, so can't really push in the same lane. Oh, Valkyrie. Oh, kind of bad timing. He has to play something for it. Well, I guess not. Man, we're so dead right now. I'll go for the bomb tower. Just try to set up for defense. Okay, our king tower can help us somehow win this. I don't know. I'll go for the wall breakers on the sparky. It's not too bad of a play, honestly. We're going to take a sparky hit here, but I don't really mind too much. And we're so dead right now. I think there's like no way we're going to win this match at this point. Uh, I tried to go for a tornado lineup, maybe? Oh. Okay, N not too bad, not too bad. Not too good, not too bad. I'll go for the Valkyrie all the way off to the side so he doesn't hit his rage. I knew he would rage. I have to defensive minor. Oh, this is intense. Log. Don't really care about that one, E-Barb. Boys, we have to do something crazy. I don't I don't know what, but we just have to try something. Not right now, though. I'll go for the Magic Archer in the back. We have to just defend this and then try to go crazy after. Okay, Skelly Surround. Um, Wall Breakers. Oh, man, I'm so scared. After Tornado. Minor Valkyrie. Uh, do something. Okay, we need something crazy, boys. We need something crazy. Oh, one wall breaker. Okay, Magic Archer Tornado. No. Okay, Minor in the back. Wait, boys, boys, boys. Distract the Sparky. Magic Archer. Tornado. No, the fat Goblin Giant. Why is the Goblin Giant so fat, man? Why is he so fat? Bruh. Good game. Boys, if we lose again, I'm gonna retire. Can't believe that Sparky match. That was a really good game, though, I have to admit. Uh, I'll turn into the bats here. Oh, look at the bandit. <laughs> 5 IQ tornado. No, wait. 500 IQ tornado. <laughs> Accidentally just insulted myself. <laughs> Pretty sure this guy's running minor wall breakers or goblin drill wall breakers, probably with the Mega Knight. Gonna be a lot better for us to go in the opposite lane of him. I'll go for the minor in the back. I don't really want to go with the wall breakers, I feel like he would just go with his Mega Knight onto them. Yeah, I'll just go for the magic archer in the middle. Might try to go for a king tower activation here against the prince, depending on what he does. Okay, I'll go for the wall breakers. Then for the tornado. Super nice King Tower activation. Also works against Dark Prince. You always get that one wall breaker as well to survive. All Valkyrie Skellies here. Interesting push by him. Kind of useless, honestly. He still has to play his bats onto this. I'll just go for the minor. He has no cheap way to stop it. I'll take the prince out of him. I don't want to waste the magic archer. I'll just go for the log instead. Gonna wall breakers too. I don't know if it'll actually kite though. Yeah, it doesn't really work too well when they play the prince on the outside. Then the prince doesn't get kited by the wall breakers. Still fine though. I don't mind taking a bit of damage with this deck. You can't always defend perfectly with this deck. At least early on. I'll go for the magic archer in the back. He can't really kill it. He has no big spell. Arrows plus zap do kill it, but he almost always has to waste one of his spells on like the wall breakers or skellies. Should be a nice bomb tower here. Gonna kill his musketeer probably. I'll minor all the way in the back. Skelly's to protect our magic archer. And then wall breakers. He has to arrows I think. Pretty good start. I'll go for the magic archer in the back. Still gonna be pretty hard for us to get the last bit of damage though that we need. It's a pretty hard matchup I think. He might go for a mega knight at the bridge. We have to be kind of careful right now. Yeah. I'll play the Valkyrie, uh, turn into everything in to kill the bats. Another bomb tower. <laughs> yeah, it's never fun defending against Mega Knight. Mega Knight Prince to be exact. Okay, I'll go for the Magic Archer. 
Uh, log it back. Good damage, though. I'll ignore the wall breakers. Just go for the skellies here. Interesting Mega Knight by him. For no reason. I'll just Valkyrie down low. Have to turn into these bats in. Super good tornado, though. I'll minor wall breakers now. Probably force out the arrows. Should be some good damage from the minor, though. Uh, I'll Valkyrie here. Log the wall breakers. Don't really trust them too much. We're playing so well so far. Just the King Tower activation carries in this matchup. Should be a good game. He's like nothing. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!